Truck's a bit dirty. Not too much. We're going to clean it off a little bit before we go up to Houston later in the week. But I changed the badges. They used to be the chrome badges for the Tundra Emblem. Went to a satin black. Ordered it on Amazon. Come in at about 25 bucks for the pair or something like that. So I'll go ahead and show you how we took them off. Getting some organizing done here. This is what it looked like. I am using a piece of twine. That's it. See it done with fishing wire, or you know, fishing line. Sorry, the clear fishing line. See it done with floss. I'm using twine because it's what I had. I've done it before. You basically want to take this and make sure it gets right on the glue and you just work it through the glue and it will snap so you take a long piece and I usually wrap around my fingers and slowly get through it and if it snaps you just cut a new piece eventually you get it all off you line it up, you get the new emblem on. Well, there's the pieces of the old emblem. And went through about four pieces of twine. Twine snaps easy, so it's not as bad on this, the paint. That's what's left. And you can literally use your finger to just start rolling away this excess glue. I let it sit out in the sun for a little bit. So I didn't have to bust out the heat gun since I'm still organizing in the garage. But all these little pieces, they just come off and then you just clean the area. I'm not a fan of chrome. So we'll get to it. I'll clean it off and I'll show you uh, how we lined it up. As you can see, I used some blue tape to mark where the old emblem ended and started. That'll help me align the new emblem. Alright. Here is... Alright, here's the emblem. The new one. See, it's satin black. Gonna come in a pair. You can just order the big Tundra door emblems, or you can order the whole set to do the whole car. I decided just to do that. It comes with 3M adhesive on the back. We already... Cleared off the old emblem and cleaned it up. You see the OEM badges, black and chrome. I don't like a lot of chrome, but I kind of like this little accent. It's really the only chrome left on the truck. Uh, it's black. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's black and chrome, so it works. And then uh, you saw the other side of the beginning. So we're going to go with the black emblems. We'll go ahead and set it real easy. Just peel it. I go ahead and peel it about halfway set it and then finish finish peeling the rest of the backing and then press it on and we'll let it sit in the heat for a little bit all right as you can see new emblems on not too hard to do nice simple cosmetic i guess upgrade if you want to call it that um not expensive, 25 bucks on Amazon for the pair of the Door Tundra emblems. You can get the whole set that includes this guy, these, and the SR5 emblem for I believe about 50 bucks, something like that. Um, again, not hard to do, you just gotta clean it all off. You wanna be careful when you take the emblem off. I Like I said, I use twine. Didn't damage any of the paint. <clears throat> then I uh, let it sit in the sun, but I did apply a little bit of heat to it. Rub the glue off. Use a little bit of all-purpose cleaner. And uh, lined it up before I took it off with some blue tape, as you saw. Put it back on. And that's it. Cleaned it all up. It's ready to roll, man. Anyhow, that's it for that. That's it for the Tundra. 
simple emblem install and uh, be picking up a few more parts here and there as uh, we've decided to keep it and not trade it in for the lease because she ain't gonna have a lot of miles on it and I gotta organize the garage got a new box new case new uh, cabinet we'll go into that later on it's long overdue and uh, hey don't forget to hit the subscribe button any suggestions or good suggestions and uh, y'all have a great week God bless.